Hello Internet, this is IMLI3 here, and I have recently gotten into doing some meddling in RPG Maker, the newest one, MZ, and for the past month I've painstakingly tried and learned uh, all the different things I can try and do in this to make a little project as a proof of concept. But I'm going to be making some tutorial videos to show the things that I've uh, learned, as there's uh, quite a quite an extensive things, and they're quite it was very difficult to get all this uh, stuff together. So in this uh, first tutorial video, I'm going to be going over various things for the battle HUDs and the menus, and uh, of course, uh, extra information be in the description and uh, links so you can uh, get all these uh, this stuff yourself. So the first thing uh, for plugins, which are um, extra text documents you can get to insert into the game engine to make it uh, do things for you. This is uh, custom code that people have made. So uh, the first one is to skip the title. Um, so with it off, the game normally, when you start it, It'll ask to save, and then when it loads, it will go to the title screen like this, and then you have to click New Game and watch it transition, and it'll do that. But with this plugin, it's very simple. This is the easiest thing to start off with for explaining. You turn it on, start the game, and you start into the game immediately. It's so simple, but it's so necessary, and sad that so all these things aren't already features in this program. But because that five, you know, four or five seconds that that saves you adds up over the thousands of times you'll be loading the program to do your testing. So the next thing on the list, uh, lots of useful plugins like screen zoom on encounter. Uh, these are from the DLC uh, with the um, program. So the ones that I have uh, enabled in here are shake on damage and the screen zoom on encounter. Okay, I figured out what the plugin does. It uh, zooms in on the event, not for the flash that you zoom in when you're in a battle or getting into a battle, like this. So that's what that does. And the way you do, the, do that is by um, activating the plugin command uh, option in the events command scripting. So on the third page <clears throat> at the bottom is the advanced stuff for putting in custom scripts and plugin commands. When you have uh, some plugins enabled, they will show up here if they have you know, the, the feature to do that with. And uh, of course, I did the screen screen zoom, and I will get back to that process, uh, piece here. Oops. Oh yeah, another thing very important to know: always uh, use your uh, keyboard shortcuts as much as you can. So that's uh, how this works. You can set the custom values here like this, um, and then you hit apply, and then it saves. You always have to save every time, by the way, when changing your uh, plugin commands. And there it goes zooms when the event triggers which I guess the zoom resets after the encounter actually happens, so that's a thing. All right, well, the next thing then, uh, font size in engine. Uh, that's uh, simply in the um, the database uh, command here uh, on the system two page. There's where the font size is, where you can change that, which does affect your, your spacing in the event uh, text uh, windows. So you'll have to be, yeah. You have to be uh, aware of that. Yes, yeah, so if you plan on changing that midway through, you have to account for the, the change in the size of the font to fit into the text window. There we go. <laughs> now you can see. So the next thing, uh, battle log text background. Uh, now this is where we start getting uh, into the interesting edits. So I had the game files here. And uh, in the, yeah, this is the base folder. In the JavaScripts folder, you will have the RPG Maker MZ Windows JavaScript, which I already have open here. And what you want to do is search, this is the easiest way to fast find it, uh, opacity. Now, the window battle log prototype back paint opacity function, which all you need to know is this value determines between uh, 0 for fully transparent and 255 for uh, fully not transparent. So you saw how the text uh, was previously, and if I change that value to its highest, and I go to save the file, which you can do um, while the program's still running, as it only uh, calls on these files when you launch the game itself, so it's very handy to do. Um, so this is the battle text log, not the normal um, text uh, command windows. So here, now you see it's a full black bar. There are plugins you can use, which I have, also as a, a secondary way to disable th that uh, 
the text background because that's how I wanted that for my game. But uh, so, and to show the opposite end of this, I can set the number to two. Oops, don't don't mess that up. And always make sure you make backups of these uh, files that you're editing before you edit into them, as that uh, will save you a lot of trouble. And also will save you needing to remember what the default values are. And now we will see that the battle log text will have no background for it, so it's completely just the text on the screen. But this is just the basic stuff you can do with the help of this tutorial that I've been able to do by myself, because this is all stuff I've never, ever, ever done before. I've never done any programming, no, no, no game creation, nothing like this. Uh, so the next thing is the battle screen HUD black background. So you've seen how the HUD looks before, and I wanted less HUD on my screen. I wanted all that stuff gone. So I had to learn what the way to do that is going into your image folder for this. And in the systems folder is a Windows file, window file. This is what the game draws on for its Windows graphics for most of that stuff. Now, um, the format for the images in the program are of a different mode. I don't know what this is. It says index, but you have to change it to RGB to be able to see or not. Wait a second. No, it's there, right? I don't know. It's, it's usually uh, more visible because I have the backup images here to show it or not. Okay, here. This shows it. Yeah, see, it's, it's normally more, more visible. Uh, it, it's, it's weird how these uh, modes in these images affects how they're displayed. But simply, all you need to do is put it in your image editing program and then go... Whoop. Oh, you don't want the, that stuff on your game? Well, then delete it. Save it. Save as. Window. Yeah, I already have backups of the images, so I'm just going to save it. Replace it. And now, when you go into the game and you get into their battle, stop running away, stop running away, I gotta fix it. <laughs> wow, that was, some, that was some RNG right there. Running away from me completely. And now I'm missing something, I think. I actually can't remember what it looked like before now. But I know, I know it is, right? Because there's also the next part, which is this. Just, this is the other part for the window. You delete that. Save as. And, okay. I'm going to put you where you can't run away from me now. And we will see. There. No background. No black boxes taking up the screen. So now, look at this. Oh, isn't it beautiful? You've got full coverage of the screen. Customization for your battle HUD. None of this stuff. <sighs> is, you, gotta, you gotta do it all customly manually. And then also the last thing, which is something specific for me that I wanted to do. Um, I even wanted less stuff on my screen. Now this file here is the stuff that highlights your character um, when it's when th your things when you're selected, which of course makes it look quite um, out of place when it's just a big blue rectangle sticking out of uh, the text there. So what I went to do was uh, opacity scale. Eh, do I have to do it more? Oh, I have to get rid of the rectangle selection, right? Or hello? Okay, there we go. There you go. Just go like this. Just not all the way. And just hold it once because uh, clicking more than once will do it more. You can just drag it all around with a single click. And there. So you made it more transparent. Save as. Replace that window file. Load. And now you'll see for the HUD. It is much less pronounced, the blue. Um, there's still some extra black here, but that uh, I also will be getting rid of when we get to the plugins. Next, battle text, speed, location, damage numbers appearing in the target of the center. So, now I'll be turning on the most uh, awesome and helpful uh, battle, uh, or plugin that I've uh, been able to come across, which is Visual MC's Battle Core plugin, or Ian Flea's uh, Battle Club uh, plugin. Let's apply that, and in there, you have to uh, click it open to open its configuration page, where it has tons and tons of options. There's like easily over 100 options just in this. So the battle text speed will be under battle log settings and the message weight. So this is for how many frames. So if I make it 
50 frames that'll be waiting for almost a second for the meta, uh, for the message to clear uh text align where I where do you want the text to appear in the center no i want it to appear on the left side but it's also kind of tricky when you're starting to mess around with the placements of course now i've done this manually in the next uh setting here which is it's uh x or w x coordinates i don't know what the w stands for this but you know the x r y coordinates to change where it is um so if i have a text aligned to the left plus this the text should be far enough to maybe not even be on the screen at all let's see oh sorry oh sorry i moved it to the left not the right whoops <laughs> okay but that's that still showed it but um i do want to show the text being completely off screen just to show that you can make these sort of customizations where if you don't actually want that stuff to be displayed you can just move it off screen entirely yep there it is moving off almost completely off screen and what was the last thing from this um, the number the damage uh, number appearing in the center yes that's a very helpful thing to do especially when the enemy image size being larger than the battle window size causes the um, hud to glitch out in ways um, such as not being able to see the number damage that you're doing uh, oh hp gauge settings then right enemies no oh man where i thought i knew where this was so many options um Okay, here it is. I found it. It is under the damage settings, of course. So uh, right here under pop-ups, you want a uh, peer position center. Now I'm going to set it to the head. And that will make it so I will not be able to see the damage number because the window for my character, my enemy image here is extended above the screen. Yeah, so the damage was up there, but of course I couldn't see it. Next thing on the list, the HUD layout. For older versions, command window size. All right. So another uh, nifty feature in here is under the battle layout settings. There it is. This is uh, set to default. Uh, the first option here is default. But uh, you see you have a few uh, options here. Uh, the default being uh, the MZ1. Then you have F uh, XP and uh, various uh, other ones. Although I, th I thought they said for each one which um, previous version. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure these were all... Um, HUDs for previous versions of uh, RPG Maker, but maybe only some of them were. But so if I click to that now, now we'll see. Yeah, now I got a completely different HUD going on here. My attacks are over here. My character is more to the, or yeah, my character is more to this side here. Next, um, HUD layout, uh, command window size. Oh yeah, you can even uh, customize that, which I only found out about today, which was fun to do. That is under, again, the battle layout settings right here. Command um, window width. This uh, option right here. You can uh, change this. And I will set back to the original or the default HUD so we can keep a consistent comparison. Now look at that. It's got a mini window. So you save even more space. And it's, it's actually pretty cute. It still shows the text and everything. Um, oh, one thing I should check, though, while I'm here is the yeah the uh, skill action menu command still is uh, the same as before and uh, next the gauge bars uh, placements that like, can also be caused to be hidden and the remove uh, action commands another thing I just learned today as uh, I was continuing to do various things and experiments for learning for making this tutorial video okay it's this one battle layout settings with uh, the parameter um, being able to offset. So if I choose, uh, say 100, oh, I, I'm not sure if I need the plus there, but I'll I'll put it in. Some random random variance will just show the effects. It's a, it's a lot of work, but this will move the uh, health bars, and I can you can also remove the action commands, which is under uh, the actor command window. Yes, over here in battle commands command list. So if I change uh, escape to auto battle, and I can try these other ones, but I've uh, I don't actually know because again I just learned about this now, so I don't know how it works. I'll delete the attack uh, command. Um, those uh, most of them didn't appear for me when I tried them. Here we will see now. Yeah, my HP bars are gone. My guard, my attack is gone. I have an auto battle. 
see what the auto battle selects. Wait, did I still do an attack? How? I see my my name is uh, partly here showing up there. Um, I wonder what they should have still been displayed on the screen though. So if I go to battle layout, set that back to its default. Oh, oh, it was the Y coordinates, and then this is too much to the side. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll make that 400 instead. Yeah, so I, I accidentally just demonstrated you can clear your HUD with setting these uh, coordinates, because um, Y down 100 is uh, too much. That makes it go all the way off screen, when it, with it being so low to the screen. And now I will apply, although I don't know why the name was being cut off still, because it's not supposed to be bound to the window, the box window itself, right? There we go. Yeah, see? There we go. So you have all sorts of little customization options like that. Uh, showing HP for enemies. I don't know if I'll be able to demonstrate that with my character being off screen, but you can also, in the enemy battler settings, with uh, name visibility, uh, oh, no, it's in HP gauge, for enemies. Required, uh, required defeat first. Requires defeating an enemy once to show the HP gauge. So I have that uh, set to true which means that the HP gauge for the enemy will not appear. And then here you can disable it all uh, or, or not uh, entirely. All right, uh, I think that's about it for this tutorial. Hopefully you found this uh, informative and uh, will be there's uh, even more greater things to um, be showing for learning. So the next video I have planned will be for eventing and then combat mechanics. And then finally the big one, how to make animations how to animate the enemies like you've seen in this video for the enemies. So I uh, hope you en enjoyed. Hope this was uh, helpful and all that.